you know, it is going to be really interesting stuff. But of course, GP. Yes, you see him repping you that see him there. dad tag, yeah. and that is because he most certainly is. And of course, you know, you know, Pelly being from <laughs> EOE as well, this is actually you know, a, a bit of a team kill, unfortunately. It was inevitable to happen oh, yeah. at some point. But, you know, these two have actually faced each other a fair bit as far as I'm aware, especially at the uh, tea time locals. But, you know, it's going to be interesting to see what. Oh, they're, they go to the same do. locals? Yes, oh, yeah, both same locals, both same region. So, yeah. see what GP can do here. Oh, the oh really GP nice starting stop. off really strong. No jump. Okay, but Pelly is going to make it back. Yeah, now again, Pelly just okay. you know, had slowed it down there yeah. and then just found that one hit to chain into something else. You know, really just racking up damage. Of course, yeah. Sonic, hey, yo, despite being a fast character, played fairly slowly. You know, obviously, Plays for, them, it, yeah. for them, it is kind of the small hits, yeah. you know, that chain into, sort of that link together, rather than yeah. kind of oh, anything too big. Nair, up but air, for Ike, connect. it is the or big hits that you get from throwing out your big yeah. sword. <laughs> big sword, man, has big sword. That is, that is for sure. And oh, that, that is, back air is going to kill. Yeah, that GP is exactly up. why you've got to watch out for Ike's sword, because you can just lose your stock just like that, especially with the percentage at, oh, that he was at. And now GP actually just slowing it down there, just yeah. you know, waiting to see what Pelly commits to. But I really like that Pelly actually kind of saw all of that. It was like, actually, I'm not going to approach this. I'm no. just going to sit back. Yeah. I'm going to let you do whatever it is you're doing over there. I quite like, yeah, how GP is playing this right now as well. Um, playing Sonic at a deficit is so much more difficult than playing when you have the lead. So now that you have that stock, um, you know you don't have to overcommit in order to get to Sonic. So, oh, oh, nice. Yeah, absolutely lovely stuff there. Yeah, using that neutral air into the back yeah. air to take it. You know, GP, but immediately coming down is just getting a few straight hits here. Oh, it's going to get that uh, fair. Is it going to get the ether? No, just a bit late. Yeah, a little bit late on pulling the trigger there. You know, Pelly obviously having already grabbed the ledge. Yeah. He's going to use the invincibility to uh, safely avoid that option. But, of course, it's still a scary thing that, you know, oh. Pelly will need to watch out for. And when you're at 87 versus Ike, you've got to be aware that a lot of moves can kill you here. A lot of moves can kill you. A lot of moves can link into moves that kill you. But Heli now just really just capitalizing on the advantage you got. Again, we talked so much yeah. about you know, sort of Sonic's just linking moves together and it's what we're seeing here. And GP Pelly here just, just oh, hits. Pelly. And beautiful stuff beautiful. there from Pelly. Just diving out there using the insane speed of Sonic to just yeah. catch GP unaware, get a forward, take the stock away, and Pelly now in a good position here. And that's the thing with Sonic as well, you know, quick character, patient character, but um, is a character that does not struggle to kill. Yeah. Uh, all of his aerials kills, except maybe down air. Well, down air can kill at times. Um, and neutral air, I suppose. But ev neutral air just connects into everything uh, so fast and is able to really get out there, um, edge guard really easily. Just uh, an all-around great character. Maybe, maybe one of the best characters in the game. Yeah, and I mean, you know, Pelly obviously having your know, utmost faith in this character as well, and it always shows every time he plays. You know, he knows a character like back at him. You know, just like we saw with Emac the Joker. You know, Pelly actually loves his character, and you know, he's you know, Yo. kind of his true soul main, and he shows it every single time in the tournament. But. You know, oh. and right now, I was oh. going to say, you know, GP was on the hunt for the kill. Finally finds it with a, you know, a kind of a clash attack there. Yeah. And finds now... It there, and now wants to get the kill oh. again. Oh, the down air. I do love the attempt, though. Yeah. You know, when you're in the sort of position that you are, like GP, when you know you are a bit of a deficit, you've got to throw out just these few kind of, you yeah. know, sort of risky options. Well, not there, it's it's not even, even that risky. risky. Kind it's of just sort of these wild options, yeah. really. Because, yeah. you know, it's a case of... But what if it worked, bro? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And what, what if I got this? Yeah, exactly. Like, what What if it landed? Like, it would have just won the game for a GP. So certainly in those sort of positions, I, you know, it's absolutely respectable to go for it. And, you know, and as we've been talking, GP actually have you know, evened up the set a fair bit. Yeah, you know, We can absolutely. see Kelly actually going on the defensive a fair bit here. You know, even more so before, he does not really want to risk anything. Oh, that was a very scary position there for Dark... Uh, dark Soccer. Uh, GP. <laughs> yeah, and... Pelly gonna have to be, you know, careful. He does not want to be caught by any one of these nares. You see, GP oh. fishing for it. Okay, there I there. love the weight there actually from GP. Yeah. Not gonna risk anything. You know, he did get the neutral air, but he didn't want to jump up and go for the up he air or anything because yeah, he knows it probably wouldn't have hit. So instead, he's just gonna wait it out. 
Gonna wait it out. Maybe gonna look for something like an F tilt or an up tilt to kill. At this percent. Yeah, they both would. these players actually just, you know, really kind of oh, slowed it down. Jab! And yeah, GP actually finding a singular jab there. You know, didn't really lead it much. I don't think GP I, expected I think, it to yep. hit. Oh, oh, and the dash, the dash attack. attack! And GP taking GP. the first game. Okay. Yes, that dash attack. So insanely strong. That is definitely gonna, you know, kill with that sort so of So active for so long as well. Yep. That dash Lovely attack, stuff just, there from GP. Yep. I, you know, the way he played that last shot was so immaculate. Just really sort of playing it patiently. Then at the last moment, going for yep. that burst attack there with the I dash attack. Finding the stock, finding the game. Yeah. GP, one nil up on Pelly. GP has a wonderful beard, by the way. You see, you see that in that camera, man? Absolutely. That's beautiful. beautiful. Absolutely. I absolutely beautiful. love that. Um, here we go. Game two, back on PS2 again. All these players love PS2. I swear. So obviously, you know, Pelly having gone down that first game, going to be trying to, you know, change up, you know, what he does oh. here. But as always, you know, a, a story oh, wow. as old as time with Ike doing big damage in a matter of seconds. Yeah. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. Big damage, big sword, but big combos coming from Belly. Yeah, and a good recovery there from GP using that side B actually just to go high while oh. Pelly was low, but you're still stuck in this disadvantage. Yeah, finally returning to neutral Pelly, you know, just trying to find a few straight hits. Does oh. not want to be caught by any of these neutralizers there. They could be scary. Some of them could be scary if he hits them at the right time. Of course, Ike's oh. still a fairly heavy character, so, you know, going to be surviving even these up airs that, you know, send GP right yeah. up to that top blast zone, but not going to be finding stuff just yet. Pelly is going to need to get GP to, you know, the end of the Ooh. stage. That back throw, yeah. not quite, but... And you could see in the uh, player cam as well, GP actually just shaking his head because he knew that that dash tag, you know, was a risky option to yeah. go for. Certainly just put him in a position where he could just be, you know, uh, oh. grabbed. That was but, a really nice air dodge. Yeah, love that. You know, finally making it back here. 180%. Kelly being really, really um, patient at the ledge. Oh, and now going to struggle to make it back on stage. Thank God for side B. Yeah, this is, you know, it's, it's a case of, you know, GP was hanging on for so long, yeah. but he wasn't really doing all that much damage. It was just constantly just Pelly throwing out these small hits that didn't kill, but was just compiling on the damage constantly. Yeah. constantly. You know, but unfortunately for GP, yeah, he just really wasn't kind of finding for oh. hits. Just like that one, when I will take Pelly stock. Just uh, run up and forward tilt, please. Absolutely. Sometimes you've just got to do it. Sometimes you just have to do it. But already eating 55% from just this one combo. And an edge guard opportunity. Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh, oh Pelly! Absolutely Woo. wild from Pelly there. There, I love that. You know, obviously Ike's you know recovery, one of the weaker parts of yeah. his kit. You know, certainly something that could be easily gimped. And Pelly, you know, known for that, and of course can use his own good recovery to yeah. make it back safely anyway. Absolutely, with a, a move like down, uh, down air, which is pretty safe. You know, he's, if you're off stage, there's not really much I can do about it. Hey. He just hang on the stage there, not gonna go off stage, not gonna risk anything. What? Oh! Ooh, so close to finding the kill there, but yeah, not quite enough just yet. But certainly Pelly gonna be aware now that you know one more of those certainly yeah. gonna take the stock away. GP is going to need to take this oh, really soon, I was gonna say. Uh, in order to make it back. Here we go. Pelly getting something started with that neutral air. Gets the side B. But he's going to get punished with the grab. Another grab. Again, we are starting to see shades of game one here. We're suddenly you know, both on last yeah. stock and the damage is starting to climb on Belly. It is going to be scary here because GP not, you know, falling for anything near the stage. Keeping it such a safe Ike. Yeah, absolutely. This is something that I've been so impressed by yeah. in GP from the set, you know. Oh, you know, of course, that wasn't particularly safe, but we'll ignore it for now. You know. I think it still stands that yeah. you know, GP has played this so safely, you know, not really committing to anything at any point. Like there, again, yeah. you know, not really throwing out anything too risky because he knows the sort of position he's in. Yeah. Where, not you not know, overextending his advantage state at any time. You know, and with obviously Ike you know, being oh. a character that can hit hard but is fairly slow, you know, you've got to really kind of play it safe. You've yeah. got to make sure you're not really throwing out all that much. Up tilt, okay. Oh! 
it's just he's too no, low. It's no, like, he so lives. close. Kelly lives. Up tilt though, not quite. And now we're, oh, we were fair? waiting with. Oh, we were. GP is up 2-0 we against Pelly. Open mouth there at the end. We did, oh. not, we did not know what to say <laughs> because we were just so shocked. We were like, hang on. Oh. Is GP about to do look, this? And look at the crowd. Does look at the crowd. Again. Just popping in now. And yes, you can see yeah. as GP goes 2-0 go. up, the crowd starts forming. Here we go. Yep, all eyes on the set now. This is huge for GP. Is he about to take down Pelly and make it on into top eight a winner's side? Or is Pelly the kind of player that can reverse 3-0 this situation? Let's see. Pelly Back on the PS2 we go. Yeah, Pelly has done it before. He has played from this kind of deficit. But, you know, and we are seeing some very even games here. Oh. Oh, is that going to be it? No, not quite, but again, oh! Pelly sending a message. Pelly was so, so good. He just did not let give yeah. GP a moment to even think about how he was going to come back. But, as we've said before, this is how these games have all started. Yeah. You know, Absolutely. Pelly up, GP finally, you know, kind of nickel and diming his way back at the end. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, we talk time and time again about the fact that, you know, these two different character archetypes in Sonic just kind of throwing in these small hits while I he throws out these big hits yeah. that do a lot of damage. But, you know, so... Oh! Oh, Pelly! I was going to say that Pelly, that GP can find it, but Pelly has... Something has a walk Pelly finding hit. that big hit himself with that back air just actually insane. Pelly is angry right now. He is saying, okay, I'm down 2-0. But I'm not out yet, yeah. and you're about to see why. And <laughs> you're going to see why I beat you at all of our locals. Of course, the game is not over yet. You know, certainly against playing like against I, you have always got to be careful. But Pelly is certainly looking on the fire. Oh. This game finally yeah. finding that stock though. Uh, GP still got to perform a fair bit of yeah. a, you know, a miracle here if he wants to take this game. But certainly, you know, this is the start of it. This is going to be how you start it. Um, you know, just catching Pelly a bit overextending with an air and able to finish it off with the up air afterwards. But now, Pelly again, just trying to cover so many options at once, um, is able to play the safe kind of Sonic style that we all know Pelly for. Oh. Yeah, really. This is, I mean, again, GP has slowed the pace down, you know, so, so much here as he oh. knows, you know, at this sort of deficit. He tries to, to combo play. up B into his uh, back air. I've never yeah, he just needs to play so carefully right now. But Pelly is just kind of, you know, always there, always ready, you know, and now waiting out these approaches as well. And 160%, you know, GP certainly in a bad spot here. Yeah. Pelly going to need to take the stop, but yeah, you do right. see them, you know, back actually air. slowing it down themselves. Yeah. You know, because they're in a position where, you know, they could go for a timeout if they really wanted to. They've got no time to waste, really, you know. I, I don't think a timeout's necessary here, and Absolutely neither does Pelly. Not. Absolutely not. No. Yeah, Pelly. A trade yeah, will do. I could go for a timeout yeah. if I really want to, but I don't need to. If you got last stock, maybe, yeah. you know, then you consider yeah. the timeout option. But and that's all percentage as well. You yeah. can go on the aggressive a little bit, you know. Obviously, we did see Pelly slowing it out a little bit, but, you know, in these moments, you know, he's aware that you can just, you know, turn it, go into a different gear, just throw yeah. out attacks, you know, because chances are most of them are going to kill. So what do you think GPE did different there? Do you think he... In a way, I think it was more kind of what Pelly did. Like, what we kind of saw in that game compared to all the others yeah. was Pelly actually just being in GP's face the entire time. Mm. You know, there was not really a single moment where Pelly was not in front of GP. Yeah. Yo, and of course, that is a, one of the ways to approach this sort of matchup. You, you know, to just be in front of someone like Ike you know, makes it yeah. so difficult for them to really throw out anything. You know, if you're just keeping them in this disadvantage state, because you, know, you just want to give them absolutely no time to throw out these yeah. big moves. They are slow. So if you could just get in front of them, just be you know, in his face the entire time, what can GP really do about it? There's not much you can do. Now, I do really like this counter pick stage um, for oh, for GP almost getting the kill there. Um, because I feel like I can catch you on these platforms. Platforms can be kind of tough to get off of. And uh, with this big sword, just able to do all that coverage. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, you know, 
going for a slightly smaller stage of Battlefield as well just kind of inherently closes the gap between them as well. Yeah. You know, so you can throw out things like Neutral Air, it will cover oh. a wider range, hopefully catch Kelly in one of them. Barely missing the up air there for the kill. And now Kelly has a chance to kind of walk back in if he wants to, just dashing away. Holding shield. Oh, that's a small shield. Yeah, but I do love the patience from Peli there. Just not yeah. really gonna sort of wait. For, you know, just gonna wait out. Okay. Here we go. That nice back air. Yeah, very, very oh. nice. It's just Peli. That's again. the first time Peli's missed the up B there. And gets hit by um, GP's side B. Not gonna kill though. And again, you know, in this sort of position, you know, obviously GP are a very high percent, but actually it's more scary for Peli in the position he's in because this sort of rage, you know, and it's all attack sets, yeah. GP has, and that's you the can kill. just lose uh, a stock just like that. The Eva coming out, of course, one of those that got yeah. buffed in one of the uh, more recent patches, making it ridiculously strong. It's so strong. I don't know why they buffed yeah, why it so much, but- Why did they do that? <laughs> You know what, in fairness, Ike deserves it. I think Ike deserves it. <laughs> Absolutely. And of course, you know, certainly paying off for GP here, just yeah. knowing that you can go for it. And even if you send them off to the left side when you're on the right side, it will still take the stock. GP now going on the defensive here a little bit. You know, he oh. knows he's at the sort of deficit, so he just wants to try and get, you know, a few straight hits in before he falls to the stock. Here we go, Pelly again to get that up to uh, that forward tilt and going to take the stock. Getting yeah. some little damage there, just you know, bread and butter. Yeah, absolutely. Again, just finding these few straight hits here. But again, Pelly, you know, what he shows constantly is he can take those small little hits, yeah. chain them into something so much bigger and so much scarier. Oh, I love the, the you know, just the safety in which GP plays. You know, no overcommitment at all, and. Uh, it's actually making, you know, I think Kelly has to play on the back foot, which is interesting to watch. Uh, <laughs> every time I say GP's leg safe, he always it's, pulls sometimes that Sometimes the thing is, though, with the side B is that, yes, it's kind of, if you don't hit your opponent, you are yeah. stuck in a fairly laggy state. But the thing is, you know, it's also a move that a lot of people generally opt to avoid yeah. by going high. So generally, a lot of Ikes actually just get away with it for free. And we saw in the case there, you know, Peli just opted to avoid it entirely. He's like, I'm not going to shield it. Yeah. I'm just going to wait it out, you know, just camp on the platform, just be away from it. But that does give uh, GP the option to, you know, recover from it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, that attack Peli is going to get GP off stage, but not going to be able to get that at any edge guard. Here we go. GP just looking for something. Get back thrown though by Peli. Peli's gonna go off stage? No, not quite. Raise the jump, but he doesn't get it. Oh! Lovely stuff there. Really, really nice from Peli. Yo, just waiting out on that platform. Yeah. Knowing that GP was gonna go for that high side B. The high yeah. side B, get that edge cancel. Hello, I see you coming towards me. Here's my boot. Yeah. <laughs> here's my here's my cool green shoe. Now, oh. yo, Kelly just trying to capitalize on as yeah. much as he can with this stock that he's got. You know, he knows he can lose it at any moment, but this is all free damage here. Yeah. This is going to be so important in the end game of this game. This you know, could be this could be a one of these um, timeout situations as well. We only have two, three, yeah. 2 30 left on the clock. I'm going to say, absolutely, as we do cast a light, you know, 2 minutes 30, as you yeah. say, you know, not a whole lot of time. Not a whole lot. Kelly can opt for it here. You know, certainly I don't think he's going to be playing towards the timeout yet, but yeah. it's going to be on his mind the fact that, you know, he doesn't really need to risk anything, especially when you have a stock advantage like he does. Yeah. Oh, back here, going, actually trying to just finish this off quickly. You know, if he's not going to lose the stock, may as well use the rage he has to help him finish this off more easily. Nice yeah. nair there. Yeah, triple digits now for GP. This is looking scary and scary. He desperately needs to find a oh. You do see him committing to another kind of, you know, fairly risky option then. You again, yeah. you saw him, like, shake his head in the player cam. He's just trying to throw out these hits, you because he knows he desperately needs to take the stop yeah. away sooner rather than later, because oh. every bit of damage that Peli puts on him, it just makes it so much harder for GP to come back in this final yeah. stock. You know, if he even finds the stock. I would really like to see um, a statistic of, like, how many times GP has, you know, maybe thrown out a side beat that's missed and been punished. Because I feel like that's 
one of the big differences here. Yeah, and I mean, this is where it begins though for GP. He knows that he's got to play carefully. Oh, 191%. That is a huge You were able to SDI of out of that. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, absolutely. It's just, you know, at that sort of low percent as well. Yeah. And he's just going to fall out of it. Barely, you know, even a hindrance to him. But oh, that up there is not going to... Oh, not quite, not yeah, quite. Yeah, GP just finding a few hits, but he's still got to be aware. Yeah. 202%. Oh, this is scary. 200. But the, ch the hits are starting to come out now. GP will only need a few. Oh. Goes to the very corner of the blaster, but still hanging on. Got yeah. the high recovery of him as well. Just committing to that left side, you know, away from Peli. Peli really slowing it down here as oh, well. Another that's the rage. comes out. It's, are we about to see the biggest, craziest game? No, the Not back quite. hit from Peli! Not quite. We're going to game five, ladies and gentlemen. We are Not going quite, to ladies game and gentlemen. Five. Yes, we are going to that game five. Peli finding the back air, sealing up that game in a crucial moment. That was looking scarier and scarier for Peli as each yeah. up air hit but just you know, kept his composure at the very end. Actually, you know, yeah. Finding that one back air, and he knew with that sort of percentage, it's absolutely going to take the stock away. Now, Whew. this is insane. This is an absolute what a, what nail a by set. And actually, what you can see the player up. cam. Everyone's behind us. Everyone's watching. The entire venue has stopped yeah. playing their friendlies, but playing their sets because they want to see how this one plays out. I have they to know see this is how big. this plays out. Because um, GP has shown how how capable they are of just you know, having the um, comeback factor. Being able to survive these last stocks, clutch out these wins. And let's see if they can do one third time here. Or will Pelly complete the reverse 3-0? Yeah, this is such a crucial game here, of course. One player going into winner side of top eight. One falling down to that scary loser's bracket when we know already yeah. so many strong players. But Pelly oh! is just playing on fire right now. Zero percent for so much and nearly yeah. took a stop. Kelly just wants to finish this off right now. Going to get another up air. Oh, tries to read the drift in. Um, but not actually going to quite get to get it there. And now, oh, Kelly with the up B and not going to hit. Are we going to see something here from yeah, the sword? Looking, no. This is looking quite scary now for GP. But oh. you know, as we see time and time again, it really just takes one hit. It really on that does sword to connect into something else and just change up the yeah. entire situation. I mean, all all that GP really needs here is an air. Absolutely, an air here at that 70-ish percent will connect into that up air and get that kill. First stop goes to we, GP. We threw up our arms there because yeah. we knew that, like, we were talking about it. I called that it. One there will lead to the up there. <laughs> and GP just taking the stock again, putting himself a good position. Oh! Gonna fall to that back there. Yeah. there. But GP already did what he needed to do. Yeah. He was at such a low, you know, a high deficit compared to Pelly in that first stock, but he was still able to take it first. Actually. And now this kind of puts him in a very sort of even yeah. playing ground here. But now he has to do that for two more stocks. Because yes. this is always how th this matchup, I feel like, having seen at least these two players play Fast and Five, it does seem, you know, the matchup goes, Kelly, you know, kicks around uh, GP for a bit until not everything combos anymore, and then GP can start. And of course, we have to cast our eye over to Penny's percentage right now, 82. Yep. This is where it starts getting real scary This is now. one of these scary percentages. Like yeah, this can be. This is near percent. Oh, this is their, their percent? percent? So close there. Does find that up there, but it's not going to do yeah. it just yet. But now Pelly really going to need to watch out. Really, really going to need to watch out here. GP trying to make it back on stage. Does make it back. Oh, the up! Lovely Forward up tilt there. just throws the sword. Yeah, absolutely lovely mix up there from GP. Yeah. We haven't actually previously seen him just throwing out that forward tilt in neutral just to take the stock away. So you know, scary. I think Pelly expected that he would be at a safe distance, that, that GP would be going for something like a neutral yeah. air. But instead, you know, to throw out that forward tilt. Well, now GP going to get something started here, but he's still going to need to watch out. He is going to need to watch out here. And now Pelly on their last stock of lose, uh, winner's bracket, potentially. Yeah, this is such a huge moment for both players. Pelly obviously going to need yeah. to try and take that stock away. But with every hit that GP gets, oh. it just gets scarier for Pelly. It Pelly's. gets so much scarier. 
This is your winner's top eight on the oh. line here. And do you know about 75%? If one there connects, Hammer. Up smash! He up smashes! Going oh to my god! It. GP with the biggest up smash we have ever seen. The pop up! Oh my god. The winner's side, our top eight. That is your He's so champion. happy. He's so happy. Oh my goodness. That's insane. And GP absolutely popping off and rightfully deserved. He's going to be landing himself oh. in a spot in that winner's side of top eight. He's so happy. Taking down the number two seed in this tournament. The 